Okay, we are going to paint our medallion or coin. You'll choose either silver or gold paint. I've chosen silver. And we're basically just going to coat the entire surface with this paint. It doesn't need to be globbed on thick, so you can just do it nice and thin. Making sure you get in all those cracks. And then what I like to do, I like to tear away some of the ridge on my sculpture because the, uh, it's peeling away. Um, but I like to go over it, make sure all my brush strokes are going in one direction. I know I kind of like glop it on a little fast there, but that's all right. So I'm gonna do that. Make it a little messy here for a second. I wanna make sure I get all those cracks. Just holding it in place. Yours will be stuck to the paper still probably, so you can just hold the paper and not the coin. Ah. I'm gonna make sure I get the sides, so I'm gonna go around. Getting underneath those edges. Sorry, I'm off screen here for a sec. All right, get in there. Okay, and then, this part's pretty quick because that's all you got to do. And then I'm going to let it dry and we're going to do a process where we get some um, black paint into the little nooks and crannies um, to make it have that aged look like a patina, like an old coin that's been loved and worn and used and just kind of ready to go. So I'm going to pause it here and then we'll come back. All right, so now I have some watered down India ink and a nice fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take that and just kind of paint it on the surface. I'm gonna do the watered down because I don't want it to like stain the entire surface. And what you're gonna see happen here is the black is gonna stay blacker and anywhere where there's cracks and that'll give it that look of a patina and if I want to make the silver shine through a little more I'm gonna dab it with the paper towel and I'm just gonna let those little um, the black India watered down India ink dry in the crack like that and then I have my coin with a sort of patinaed look and then we'll design some sort of background to put it on all right all right, now the next step of this is that you want to create some kind of a background for it to go on. So I would take my medallion and trace it on the black paper, and I start it on the other side. And really, I just want you guys to make any kind of pattern um, that you want this to be presented behind it. It could be anything. It could be concentric shapes that circle within circle within circle. It could be a pattern of lines or whatever. I think I'm going to make some kind of radiating design. Um, now these markers, they shake up. So you probably want to do that with the cap on. Shake them up and the little tip presses in if they seem like they're dry. So I'll do that on the back of my paper so I can hold the tip down for a minute so that all that glittery paint will come down um, or ink I should say will come down and you'll see I can get it. Now if you color for too long in a spot, the paper might start to ball up. So be very careful about that. If it seems your paper is tearing or balling up, don't keep going on it. So I'm going to make like a radial design coming out of my coin to help draw emphasis to it. I'm kind of rushing it here. So it's not going to be the most beautiful thing I've ever done, but I'm okay with that. So maybe I color it in with this guy. So I have a variety of fun glittery and metallic markers for you to use. These ones are the glitter one. And then I'll show you what else I have. This, blue. this is just a um, marker. Um, so it doesn't shake, it doesn't push the tip down like the other one does and it goes on more metallic, as you can see that difference there, I think. Um, or at least I hope that you can. So let me color in a little bit with it so you can see. There we go, nice and metallic-y. Beautiful, very fun. I thought you guys would have a lot of fun with the metallic colors, since your coin, your medallion is essentially supposed to mimic or look like a metal. 
so that might be fun for you to explore and play around with. Make sure I get all these white, not white, but black spots. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, again, you can do any kind of pattern you want on yours. Um, ultimately leaving very minimal to no black space of the paper showing. And then there is one more material you will have access to. I will show you that. That material would be metallic magic crayons. Uh oh, my tips fell off. Rot row. And so they're just a little bit different, and you know, it's different material for you to explore if you're more of the crayon kind of person. They might not show up as well as some of the markers, but you know, I don't know if you can even see that, can you? So we got the glitter marker, metallic crayon, and metallic marker. So I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with these. And then ultimately we're gonna hot glue this little fella right onto the paper and it'll just stand out and be really awesome. Really awesome. Okay, all right you guys, have fun. Take care of my materials, please. <laughs> all right, love you, bye.